Hello readers and writers. I have come here to show you a Padlet. You can see this website is a Padlet. It has the word Padlet right up at the top. And we are going to be using this Padlet to help us in our reading and writing adventure. We are about to be working in animal research clubs. So we're going to be researching about different animals. And I want to show you how to use these resources that are gathered here in this Padlet. So the first thing you'll notice is a scroll bar at the bottom of the screen. I can scroll with this scroll bar or I can use my arrow keys to the left and the right. When I use the scroll bar, I will be able to see each column and each column has information about a different type of animal. So I have alligators, bears, bats, bees, butterflies, cats, dolphins, endangered animals, elephants, frogs and toads, giraffes, gorillas, horses, lizards, owls, penguins, seals, snakes, sharks, spiders, turtles, whales, and wolves. Now I've gotten all the way to the end of my Padlet and I can tell because I can see the background right here. Now this shows me all of the different options I have but we're not just able to go left to right on our Padlet. We can go up and down as well. So let's imagine that I'm going to be really interested in giraffes and I want to research more about them so that I can write about them. What I'll do is I'll find my giraffes column. Here it is. And there's another scroll bar in this column. And that will let me scroll up and down to see resources about that particular topic. So if I choose to learn about giraffes, I can click this scroll bar and go down. You can see this is one resource because it's in one box. You can see the background right between these two resources. So here's an article on giraffes that looks like it's a book on Epic. If I scroll down, I can see another article on giraffes, another, another, one more, two more. Each of these articles will take me to another page to learn about giraffes. So if I click on this, oops, it looks like I have to click on the link, not the picture. If I click on this, a new tab has popped up on my computer. And once it loads, I'm going to see a whole collection of books on Epic. Wow, I thought that was one book, but look at all these books. That's amazing. I can read any of these books to learn about giraffes just by clicking on a book the same way I would in Epic. And once I'm done with that, I can close out of this tab right on top here. And I can go back to my Padlet in this tab with giraffe information. So if I've really satisfied myself, I've read through all of these resources, I can scroll down and click on the next resource for me. So I think if I click here, I'll just see the picture. Oh, no, that was just for Epic. So I clicked here and I've got a whole new website with an article all about giraffes. Oh my gosh, look at that cute little face. I see all sorts of text features here. Wow. I see lots of resources here that I can click on to learn about giraffes. I see a map. I see headings to help me. So I can use all I know about nonfiction to help me learn about giraffes here. If I close out of this tab, I can click on any of the other resources here. Ooh, here's the San Diego Zoo and wants to teach me about giraffes, wow. So there's lots of different text features here too. I'm going to show you what it would look like to research a different animal, just so you can see all of the Padlets work mostly the same way. So, well, I guess this is one Padlet, but all of the resources in the Padlet work the same way. So if I scroll over to the right and I look at owls, I can click here. I'll see a whole epic collection of books on owls. Wow, that is a lot for me to choose from. And if I scroll down, there's even more here for me to look into to learn about owls. 
great. Wow. Ooh, there's a video segment here. So I could even click play and watch a video. I'm going to close out of this tab and go back to my Padlet. So remember, when you're using a Padlet, there's two tools you really want to think about. The first one is the side to side scroll bar towards the bottom so that you can see all of the different up and down columns for each animal that you can possibly research. The next tool to remember is each column's vertical sidebar, which is a sidebar that scrolls up and down. Now don't be fooled, just because under bees you see a picture of cheetahs, that doesn't mean that that resource is about cheetahs. Sometimes these pictures come from different websites and they just take any old picture from the website. So if I click on that link, here's my bees. Oh, I wonder where that cheetah came from. It must be the logo for the San Diego Zoo. So I hope, my friends, that this helps you to use this Padlet. It is going to be an awesome unit. I know you're going to love it. And enjoy. Bye.